Hi, so this time we've got a bit of practical advice for you. At the end of the year, we've got some new regulations coming in with regard to the electrics. Chapter 42 of the IET regulations, the Third Amendment, comes into force on January 16th. To quote it off uh, the IET website, it's Chapter 42, Protection Against Thermal Effects. Regulation 421.1.200 has been introduced and will require switchgear assemblies, including consumer units, to have their enclosures manufactured in non-combustible or non-readily combustible material or to be enclosed in the cabinet or enclosures that are constructed of non-combustible or not readily combustible material. So what does this mean for us as a domestic installer? Pretty much your consumer unit now has to be made of metal or as the regulation says you can put it inside say a metal cabinet something like that but the most cost effective solution is by far going to be the metal consumer unit. They're costing about £20 more than the old plastic ones so it's not a big deal. The reason they've done this is obviously lots of fires in consumer units. Now this is largely down to poor workmanship. Neutral conductors especially not being tightened properly. The misconception that neutrals don't carry much current and so they don't want the same kind of attention as the live terminals do. But no, that's crazy. Your live neutrals earth all have to be tightened properly. And if you don't believe the damage that can be done from consumer unit fires, just take a look at the IAT website. They've got a couple of pictures on there from uh, well, this burning consumer unit. And also got one in full ball of flames in their test facility. Obviously the metal boxes, they can't set on fire. So hopefully you find the fault in another way that doesn't involve the fire brigade. One other thing worth mentioning with the metal consumer units is the knockouts can be quite big. So what I've done here is just put a little bit of trunking around the tails going into the box. That way nobody can get a finger inside the box. Also, it's really good practice to put grommets on your cable entries. Helps protect the cables and also keeps the box sealed should there be any problems inside the box. Well, we hope you found that useful. We've got loads more property developing tips and advice coming up on our channel, so please do subscribe. Until then, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.